Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Medieval Squirrel, and this is my Wessex campaign for Thrones of Britannia. So, jumping in where we left things last time, we are taking on this pocket of resistance, uh, this uh, the last city of the Lederberg people in Warwick. Uh, we have already taken um, some of the territory in Staffordshire and South Merse, and we're basically trying to push north and east to reclaim the centre of England. Uh, at the same time though, we've also got these people, the Weesing. I'm sure we fought someone down here before in Kent with Alfred, but maybe not. At any rate, uh, whatever's happening, I need to get the Wiltshire Freud down there and probably with some more troops because we want to outnumber them. But for now, though, we are bringing the Hampshire Pride the to here, Dig it. We'll be here a while. to support uh, Alfred and commence. his king's army in attacking Warwickham. And then obviously we've also got the East Angle Pride up here in Tamworth. And after this, we're probably going to go straight on to the offensive again against Derby and take what's left of the lands that were previously held by Mercia. That will put us into conflict with um, Gwent and the other Welsh states down here, but you know, they were ours, so we might have to just go down there, kick their teeth in, take it back off them. It's gonna have to happen. I mean, overall, I'm not that interested in fighting across Wales. This uh, playthrough is pretty much just for me about My uniting the kingdoms of England. Uh, more towards axe and swords. Technology! don't really want that. Um... That is a really bad research. Currently researching nothing. Um, well, we were heading for military, weren't we? We'll probably head for that. Upgrade our arches so they're better. I mean, siege stuff is neither here nor there, to be honest. Run out of supplies in one turn. Lovely. Right, in that case then, let's go straight on in. We'll quick save in case of a crash. Oh, our friend's not there. Oh, cool. Alright, maintain the siege. Let's make this as easy as is possible. Bring them in. Ah, there we are. Well, we've already saved, so it doesn't really matter. Let's fight this ourselves. So we have learned from one of our previous fights, whereby we tried splitting up, and all it really did was... Um, well, it didn't help us very much at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to rush up there with the spears, we're going to hold back with the archers, and when the spears have taken the wall, we're going to rush up there with our proper close uh, combat troops, all of our thanes and our swordsmen and all of that and whatnot, and then pull the archers and the javelins up behind them so they can fire over the walls because otherwise we're just going to take a lot of damage with our archers and we're still going to take loads of damage with our spearmen it's not going to make any difference it's not like in my lizard men let's play where for instance I could run up to the, the walls with the skinks in front if I wanted to and they could take the damage wouldn't matter 
And that would be if I'm not using towers, by the way. Um, if I was using towers, there'd be no reason to put skinks in front. The towers are not going to go down very often. In fact, I've only seen uh, the AI knockout towers a handful of times. So, it, it's a bit of a null point, to be honest. Yeah, we'll go for dry. This map's quite interesting. Uh, so obviously we start off on the awful side. Um, and our allies coming from up there. So we are going to move ourselves around. And we're going to attack from over here, I think. This is cute. This would be quite easy to defend, I think, to be honest. I like this. Making the AI over on that side. Right, okay, enough of me uh, gawping at the scenery. Quite enough. Let's pull all of that round here for a start. Set for war. Fear. All of them up there and drop. Okay, I will have the Sakes up on that side. And then our allies, well, our reinforcements rather, sorry, just pulling my sleeves up ready for this, uh, will appear over here somewhere. So that'll be nice. And start the battle. Sure protect your general in combat. His loss would be keenly felt amongst his remaining Strike now! Annihilate them! Attack! Annihilate them! Our reinforcements have arrived! Oh, lovely. Coming in then. I'm a little fried. Battle is turning in our favour. <laughs> Ready. Eager to fight. Right. We'll bring them over. Go back to the group of Ready. Back lot. Also come over here and then those two can join up with the rest of the cavalry. That lot the rest of the archers. Oh, that's got a lot of fire damage. If there's nobody in it, there's no reason to shoot it, is there? Realistically. Alright, let's move all of those up then. Try getting back on, see if you can get in now. Right. You lot up. You know, oh, God is with us. We're 
ready. Quick march. Under enemy fire. Swordsman. Okay, and we are now hitting the walls. Well, it's all going okay so far. And where's the king? King, come off on that side. You lot, come in there. You lot, up on here. Where's that lot? You also for the centre. Probably should have pulled back and waited a minute uh, so that the rest of my troops could get in, but. See, uh... they flee before our might understood. Them. And we are taking the wall at the southern end. Come on, Alfred, get up on the wall. It's where you're safest in the thick of battle. Alright, when that tower's down, we should be fine. It is becoming more ours by the minute. It's the gate we need now. Run, warriors! Strike now! Making ready! Attack! Well, we've got the Thanes up. Archers on Alfred's army are taking a fair amount of damage. Still getting up. Alright, well, here's the rest of the men. From the enemy. This is shameful. No, it is understandable. Alright, up and in. Into the fight. To the back of those javelin men. Slay those archers. Earl Stains here. Down this way. Our men have rallied. Don't hold back. Pull back all of that lot. Yeah. And we're just eating through them at the moment. And if we can take the gates... I do believe we've taken the gates and the battle. Didn't even need the cavalry. Decisive victory. Probably could have done it with just Alfred's force, but... You know, should we? If we've got three armies there, we may as well use at least two of them. So that's what we did. Well, we did take catastrophic losses with uh, one group of the swordsmen, one group of the spearmen, and all of my archers on Alfred's group. But, I mean, 253 kills with that one group of fried spearmen. 113 with that lot there. 45 with Alfred, and he wasn't even first up the wall. But, likewise, 113 with the javelins, 111 with the archers. The melee troops really not doing all that much at all. So, uh, all in all, killed 100, uh, 1,183. Lost 554. Lovely. Well, now that we've sorted them out, we can do maybe a turn or two of relative peace. Uh, and then we'll start heading to the west. So we'll use these two armies to probably 
trap and destroy that 20 stack that was just west of us in that little village um, not really sure quite how strong they were uh, I'm just gonna have to keep on it yes. uh, repair definitely repair yeah um, yeah no I'll, I'll leave that Skills available. Edric, you need loyalty. Let's throw you a priest. And Athelmer, uh, you could probably do with another bit of loyalty. Money's not too bad. The men have trained Get you to London. Huskarls. Ooh. <laughs> no shields though, that's not good. I don't know that. Um, male queens. Oh, male things are better. Oh, okay. Um, some more bows. Um, on our scouts. Still up on the food. We await your commands. <laughs> right, okay, I've got husk cars. Apparently they are better than whatever it was that we were using. Yeah, so obviously we don't want to go to war with Dane Law at the moment. Well, we are at war with English rebels, but I wouldn't really call them English if they're all the way up there. They're more Danish. Uh, we do, however, want to go to war with Derby, so S Nottingham. What have you got? Not an awful lot. Stock and Stafford. And Brug. Okay, so we could take the rest of this province and then swing back round towards Snottingham and have Alfred and the Hampshire Fried head down this way Impossible. don't like the look of that though All forces in good order. Let us advance. Forward march. you know what I've got to um, I'll just let them deal with it Where's diplomacy? Right, Let they like me. They like me, Blisswood, and definitely like me as well. Righty ho, Dane Lord does not like me, but it's getting better. Northumbria are basically dead. And okay, so I'm probably gonna have to go into Wales and kick them out. Because Gwyneth are getting a bit big. And we're starting to take English land now. Can't really accept that. Elopement. Uh, intervene. Who was it? Hothworld. Oh, there's so many people here now, I've got no idea who any of them are. Hothwood. You want a wife. Zeal, influence, having children. Yeah, do you know what? You're fine. You need...
energia. That's fine. You're also my son, so you need a wife. Yep, I'll do that. Athelhem of Middlesex. Yep, you can have her. Athelwald. Again, that's fine. If you've got wives, then you're not as likely to rebel. Is that all of them? I think that it might be. Alright, how many of these? He doesn't have a wife. Uh, health, yeah. All of my generals have wives. Just spending all of my money. No. Right. Okay, Rescue Rebellion in Middle Angle. Um, I reckon I could take it. In all honesty. The men have trained for this. So let's not be too hasty. Get marching, men! Forward as one! We will stay the course. The I'll move you up there. Can upgrade. Move into position. And that does me good. Right. Um. So. Yeah, they're they're just gonna have to fend for themselves. I'm sure that between them and South Saxa, they'll be able to do it to an extent. They can sort something between them. <sighs> See now, that is the only real issue with client states and subservient forces. I mean, just awful. Yeah, no, that's fine. Cowardly. It's not great, but... Uh, could be a lot worse. Ready and eager. Uh, gonna run this way. To We're gonna go up towards Snottingham. To glory we march. I'm sure we'll be able to do it. We will do our utmost. Uh, this Lord lot Lord run this us. way. Not an option. The wolves. Where you, you would be able to get to the Austrian. That is fine. Forward, march. Skills available. Wolfsage. Her, yeah, priest. Risk of rebellion in middle angle. Well, if they do, we're just going to have to sort it out at the time, aren't we? End the turn. Move on. Devon do it. Our foes' days are numbered. We await your commands. Yeah, we'll declare war. See you Bring you all in. And we'll build a ton of towers. We will prevail. Take two turns, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. We await your command. Uh, we will occupy it. Ordered. Not an option. All forces in good order. Sorry, just oh, it's not we an awful lot. The men are ready to serve. 
Move into position. Eager to fight. Quite so. Right, so. Taking a bit of towns. Clothmaker. Abbey. That. Yoshim. Where's that? Oh, is that part of that pro. Oh, okay. That's fine. That means these two can just, like, bundle down to the south. Uh, are we able to make peace with Gwent? I don't really want to go in there don't make me regret straight to away. Oh, excessive. Uh, okay. I won't do that. It is agreed. You pay me money and then you don't attack me. Fantastic. Makes it worth it as far as I'm concerned. If I can take back all of this land that belongs to England, then we'll be loving it. Um, Huskarls. Oh, bugger. Okay, well that didn't go quite as planned. But it is Alfred's army, so we're going to save in case for crash. We're going to head right on in. I just hope Alfred doesn't get killed now, because if he does, that will that'll be pretty pathetic. I think I'm just going to have to focus arrows and that on the Huskarls. And bring everyone back into a shield wall. Shield wall. Because if we can get rid of those hostiles quickly, we should be fine. What have they got in terms of cavalry? Because they're probably better than mine. Although my troops are more experienced, even if they are slightly depleted. And I guess technically I do have missile superiority. Right, in that case then, let's... Well, the train is pretty flat. Um, don't really want to be on a border. It's pretty pretty though. Okay, so... To line approximately. Feared. Yours to command. General. The king back here. Again in a thingy formation. Move all of those up. We'll take the skirmish mode off for now. Because quite honestly, don't you need it? Thane horsemen we've got. They've got scouts and Thanes. Well, I'll tell you what then, why don't we hide Thanes? Yeah. 
cavalry charge to the rear of an enemy formation can be devastating. Keep your cavalry in reserve, and then hammer the flank or rear of the enemy. On that double! Burn them down! Burn the double! Right. Well, skirmishes are up front. Get another volley off and pull back to back. The cavalry round to the side. Pull all of that back. My Thane Horseman against their Thane Horseman. Let's make a guess and say who's going to win. Pull them out and into the side there. Okay, I am kind of winning over here on the Thane, Thane front. Okay, can't do too much at the moment. Die, Thanes! This is very close. Right, get their archers. Right. We are coming back into control slightly. And I would go as far as to say only slightly. It's a route! Our warriors flee the battle! It's hard! Alright, turn back round, pull out. at least one of these flanks round. Then I will be able to win this rather easily. Our men have turned tail and run! The cowards! No, 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 no! That will Strike not be. Alright, come on guys, come on. Straight through those long axemen. You are Thanes mounted on a horse. Jesus Christ, come on! Attack. It's 
go. It was always in our favour. We outnumbered them. Right, you lot. Carry on down that line. You lot. Come on. Uh, let's keep going. Keep going. Pull out. Have they got any more troops anywhere? Over here, Long Axeman, go. Rally. And talk of the enemy general. Because his army is running. Spin back round, take on those Daniel spearmen. Keep on going, right, you lot. You can pull right back over there. I don't want you shooting in against the king. You lot can come in on that side. Slaughtering his men. 55 men left. I know they're exhausted. Been a long battle. Been a whole seven minutes so far. Right. Obviously, I don't want their experienced troops getting out, so we're going to kill off as many of them as we can. Shield biters there. Uh, there are any small groups going away now. Alright, end the battle. Decisive victory. Oh, thank God. Otherwise, I thought we were going to lose Alfred. Turns out I'm not as bad at this as I thought I was going to be. Right, so we lost 575 killed. 1,820. Uh, we took three friendly fire on us, they took two from themselves. Have basically totaled that army. Now, I'm not going to lie, didn't go quite as planned. Excuse me. Didn't go quite as planned. Um, however, with the kill rates, uh, 219, 289, 194, 167 with that one unit of spears there, 115, and uh, a gold chevron, and then 116 with Alfred. I think we managed to sort of just spin it slightly. Don't know how. Looks like it was... Uh... Gotta be honest, I wasn't paying attention most of the time. I was just too busy thinking, oh my god, I've killed Alfred. Whew. Right, anyway, that means that we can get on with our plan a, a lot quicker than I thought we were going to be able to. Uh, we are going to be rerouting that army from the south up to siege that city. Uh, the Wiltshire Fried moving north and we'll send Alfred north to take out those towns in Staffordshire and that should enable us to basically take control of the centre of England, most of northern Murphia, Mercia. Um, we might then, depending on how Suthsaxa and Kent manage the Weesing people, we might have to send an army down there. I don't want to. They should be able to defend themselves. It was a small army when we got there, or when it got to us. Uh, we shouldn't have to go and dig them out of every hole they put themselves into. Ah, right. Uh, I will take on warriors. No, I won't. I will ransom. Don't need to take on warriors. They're not going to be able to put anything against us. Moraine of cattle. Great. Right, well, Snottingham is under siege. Uh, for some reason, Canterbury is also under siege, but it's okay because South Sax is going to go in there and basically save Kent. Which is good. 
And I think that is where I'm going to wrap up. Oh, they've still got a 20 stack here. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, that does change things slightly. But that is for next time. So if you've enjoyed watching this, then leave a like, leave a comment, or hit the subscribe button. I've been Medieval Squirrel, and I'll see you next time. See you later.